am Natalia Rivera Sanchez, and I'm a third year uh, graduate student at Well For Now. Uh, the Lon 11 and Jochen Book Lab is a lab run by two different PIs, um, and I, we are in the pharmacology department. Um, and essentially, our lab focuses on studying a protein known as soluble adenylcyclase, um, and to use it as a potential target um, for milk contraception. I started working on this field on my third rotation um, as a grad, during my first year of grad school. Um, and I actually entered the lab thinking I want to get experience in a drug development lab. Not necessarily I want to get experience in a contraception, contraception or reproduction related lab. Um, and once I got into the, you know, into the lab and started working, I really got invested into the work. And that's when my kind of like my interest into the field came up. Um, and it, it's, it's been a, approximately two years of me working in the field, um, and I truly enjoy it. I truly found my motivation um, in a more indirect way than just starting to work in the reproductive field for a while. Uh, but I, I, I couldn't be any more interested and more excited about the work that I'm doing right now. As a woman, the thought of having more options and just developing more um, methods of contraception that are do not only rely on the responsibility of the woman to be the one respond like uh, kind of like responsible for the family planning aspect of contraception um, i think that that's something that really motivates me um, to go to the lab every day and do the work that i'm doing and especially with the political climate that is happening right now i think that our research is more important than ever um, and that's something that i think in the past two years when i joined the lab is something that has been really being highlighted um, in our you know society um, so I think that both the fact that I'm a woman and I would love to have more methods of contraception available for males, so the responsibility of family planning is, you know, as equally um, distributed as possible, um, and also the fact that politically and socially, I think that is very important right now for us to, as scientists, to get together and find more options uh, for family planning that are acceptable to the public. Our lab focuses on working on soluble adenylcyclase, which we call is a protein that we abbreviate by SAC. Um, and the way that we're, this protein is very important for a process known as capacitation. And essentially it's an event that is very, very important for sperm to be able to fertilize the egg. So the way that we're trying to use drug development is by targeting this protein and developing inhibitors for SAC to try to avoid um, fertilization from happening by blocking uh, sperm capacitation. Um, so my work comes into the picture by testing some of these inhibitors um, and testing its efficacy, their efficacy and their safety. Um, and at the moment that has been paused for a little bit because we're kind of trying to come up with a, um, with a main lead uh, compound um, with which we'll, you know, we're trying to optimize the current inhibitor that we have to find that lead compound that we'll continue using and you know create more amounts of this lead, lead compound. So right now I'm like in this amazing learning curve when I'm like learning all these different things about uh, rabbit sperm physiology and every day I'm doing different experiments and learning all these techniques um, that are very interesting um, in order to you know kind of have a solid technical ground to keep working on, on, on my projects. Some of the biggest challenges that are affecting the contraceptive contraception field in general and male contraception. Um, first, the fact that, you know, we're in this polarizing, polarizing political climate, I think that this highlights the importance of our work. Um, and another thing is that, that I find very important is that I think informing the general public about the current research and the current efforts of scientists that we're trying to do to develop more uh, contraception methods is very important. And the reason why I mentioned that as a challenge is because I think that scientific articles and scientific conferences tend to not be as accessible to the general public as, you know, as I, I enjoy doing scientific outreach because I like to see people being informed. And I notice how when people know things and when people learn about things, they're more willing to test them and to try them. And they're not, they're not as fearful of the possibility of a new male contraceptive that they have never heard before about. Um, and I think that that challenge of like 
making the public as informed as possible. So they're willing to try these new methods. I think this is something very important that we need to um, try to you know, overcome and try to make this information as accessible as possible. So when we as scientists develop these methods, people are not fearful of them and they're willing to try them. My hopes for the field of contraception in general um, for in the future is that we get to a point where there's equality among the, you know, male contraception options and female contraception options. So um, there's also equality, the responsibility of family planning. Um, in addition to that, for these methods to be available and accessible for most communities in the United States. Um, I think that um, my hope is that it's not difficult for people to uh, go to try to find options for family planning that can be doable for whoever that 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 whether the uh, you know the males or the females the the, the women or the men uh, the, whether they want to use a contraceptive method they can decide who uh, has the the biggest responsibility um, in in the family planning process and I think that that's one of my in my biggest of my biggest hopes in addition to that just having more options that just that the field gets to the point where um, we're able to have these options, you know, for the public to be able to decide. And just so that we, with these options also comes more knowledge about how the male reproductive system works. Cause something I realized also when I entered the field is how much we don't, there's a lot that we don't know about how for sperm cell, the sperm cell works. And I am, I was very uh, surprised by that. And I think that getting to the point where the scientific community, it's knowledgeable enough to the point where we can develop new methods and we can develop a good amount of methods to the point where people can have the ability to decide which methods to use for family planning, plus distributing the responsibility of family planning between males and females. I think a combination of all of that would be an ideal scenario for, you know, for the male contraceptive uh, field and just the contraception field in, in general. Scientists need funds and money to be able to perform their research effectively um, and in a timely manner. Um, I think that as much support as we can get from the government, from private institutions for us to be able to fund, which is one of the things that I find fascinating about MCI is that, you know, like, they are able to fund scientists directly. And I think that's very important because you're able to fund our work and the things that we do in the lab. Um, and the, yeah, the reality is that we, we, we need money to be able to afford the equipment that will allow us to, to do the science. And I think that something, and, and, and this applies to the barrier that would, uh, something that would avoid us from advancing in the field is this lack of funds and lack of resources and lack of support. Um, and I think that something that the general, not only scientists, but also the general public needs to realize is the importance of, of support in this field. Because I think that when people are able to identify a need, um, the government and just private institutions are more willing to support that need that is being um, identified by people in general, which is why, you know, allowing people to learn about contraception and, and how important it is to support our field is, is pivotal for the advancement, advancement of, of, of the scientific field. Yeah. Something that I would like for everyone to know about male contraception is that I know it seems like a, you know, it, it can be a complex field because we there's a lot that we don't know, but we scientists, with the technology that we have today and with the means and methods that we have today, we're able to develop me contraceptive methods that are safe, that are effective, and that are worth investing in. I think that, um, you know, the, I, I, the, the, there's a lot of fear about new things related to science. And we, we were able to see this with the vaccine, with the COVID vaccine, um, for example, you know, people were fearful of what they didn't know, what they don't know how, how it, when things, when people don't know how things work, they can be fearful of it. And I, and I think that something that I would hopefully like for people to know is that 
we can test whether the, a contraceptive method is, is worth or not to take out into the market and just trust the scientific process and trust sciences who we are doing the work to develop methods that are safe and as effective as possible.